जसपाल जी इज इट अ मोमेंट ऑफ चक दे इंडिया फॉर यू बिकॉज वट यू ड्रीम ऑफ बॉट बाय मानू Yes, definitely. You can say that, but uh, definitely there's something much bigger than that because she's the first athlete to get two medals from one Olympic. We could have got three, but everybody wanted that. But the way we lost the third one, but we won two bronze with the same margin. So I'm happy with what we have right now, and I'm sure that with this uh, miss, we will prepare further harder. for LA Olympic when we had asked me earlier what is my favorite sport and i had actually said shooting i enjoy in this olympics i enjoyed shooting most i i was not uh, you know humoring you i'll tell you why because it to me it is um, an exciting sport because all your energies are concentrated on your arm where you have to keep your arm so steady and straight that even a fraction of movement um can uh, mean either a loss or or a win of a medal how do you do that how much training is necessary for keeping that arm straight so i think the major um challenge during big competitions a uh, are that no matter how much pressure you feel no matter how uh, scared you are or how um, excited or overwhelmed you are you have to try to you know manage yourself better calm your nerves down and be very very patient with things be very calm so i think uh, that's one challenge in this sport i mean i'm sure that it's also the same in other sports but shooting is like you cannot react you cannot um, move yourself you cannot move your body or anything so that's one of the challenges but training yes definitely takes a lot of uh, hard work to reach any level in any sport uh, in shooting specifically we usually target small like uh, minor minor muscles in order to strengthen them so that uh, we are injury free uh, so that we are um, more um, you know we are we are stronger and uh, it's it's like if we train with heavy weights then it will not be good for us so we have to do it in a balanced manner and of course mental training and physical training both are equally important for shooting this is the injury which Now happened because of the it's much better because it's been 10 12 days that i've not touched the gun again but and this one is this is the reason from, yeah recoil yeah, this is the reason that we have um, made a rest for 3 months because this has been for last 7 8 months right now and it's not been healed till now Oh. so that rest is uh, mandatory for the hand to go forward from here okay and we decided before the world cup thing came that they're going to have a world cup in october but our reason to stop for 3 months was before that you uh, must have heard I mean, obviously you knew about this turkish shooter who came wearing you know no no visor nothing was he the talk of uh, the shooters among amongst yourself were, were you surprised by him No I mean he definitely shot well especially in the qualification round uh, but I think uh, it's it's just the style people get used to the style so like for example I'm I'm used to the equipment that I'm using because it's been long time that I have been using those kind of uh, equipments and for him also I would say that probably he's used to it and because it's not easy to look with both the eyes so uh, in shooting you have to like you know use only one eye only then you will be uh, able to aim better but i think he's used to all of that uh, because he's been probably training for last many years and in my case and in other people's case also like somebody's used to uh, having a cap while shooting somebody's used to um, wear some um, certain kind of clothes so it's just a style and how they used to used of uh, certain equipments but He's a good shooter. I mean, he's like 52 years old and he's had a long long career and uh, I mean, he's a very hard working person. 